Both your A and B samples came back positive, son. This is bullshit. He's never used steroids in his life. You're trying to bend him over because he wouldn't play for your precious L.A. riot. You know, franchise, I can make this go away. If you play for the riot and sign a six-year contract. Fuck you. No deal. Whoa, franchise, baby, not so fast. If the sponsors hear you flunk the drug test... Man, I ain't flunk no fucking drug test. Yes, sir. Send him in. Okay. Oh, shit. Ultranol is on the FBI's banned substance list. I'm surprised your agent never told you that. Sir, you're under what arrest. The hell? You have the right no time to, to explain. Silent. Got to get on, you look. a lawyer. I, I, if you give up that right, on, anything man. you say can think, and will be used on, against you in a court of law. Welcome to Milltown State Correctional Facility, Mr. Franchise. <laughs> Ordinarily, I don't like having celebrities in my prison. However, you're a happy exception. Man, what's this? Well, it just so happens that next month we're having our annual football game against the Supermax facility down the road. And you just became my ringer, son. That ain't no movie. I ain't playing in some prison game. You can play and be out of here in time for training camp, or you can refuse and piss away the next two years making license plates. So what do you say? What time is practice? There's a reason we've never beaten the Supermax prison team. And it's guys like Carl Turpins that have made that hellhole their home. Turpitz is serving time for 23 counts of aggravated assault. Too bad we can't leave Turpitz shackled. Platinum Games Network, the longest yard three, blitz the league two. How will Jones handle the pressure of playing prison ball? Anything goes on this field. Who will survive? Who will die? Hey, you have to stay on point. Come on now. We're gonna start with a run to our franchise player. And only a gain of three yards. Nothing much as he took the ball and ran left. Watch out for these cheerleaders. In the last longest yard, the cheerleaders were led by Tracy Morgan. All right, here I go. Wow, mistimed that. First time playing this game in a pretty long while. But no excuses. We're here to win. Break that tackle. Yeah, keep going. Ah, ah, my hand. All right, gonna switch to my guy. Expect the run. Just don't know which side. Gain of five yards. Now I definitely hope that somebody could release a similar football game. Bang! Oh, that's disgusting. Now it can't be called Blitz because EA bought the right for the Blitz franchise when Midway shut down, but I'm sure they could call it something. Yard. 
Are you kidding me? Two defenders and he still brought it in. An early deficit. And he fought his way in, breaking two tackles and one after the score. Eight point play. Quarterback drops back, has a wide receiver down the field and pass interference. Of course, there are no calls here in prison. Come on, and I go with the rock. Get out my way. Oh, come on. Not again. No, no, no. Oh, my hand. Are you kidding me? Took that quick for me to fail. But we're going to try this again. Now, my previous attempt, as you see, ended with an injury. So this time we have to start big and quick. And that's exactly the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Suck my balls. Yeah. Uh, take that, take that. Knockout. The first play of the game is a touchdown. Now, I know they're going to go for two every time they get a chance, so we're going to have to start quick. Oh, failed conversion. Now we have to stop them dead on their tracks and disallow them from scoring. Watch out for the running back. Ooh, let's go. Come on, take this. Wow, only one hit. Pathetic. Embarrassing. But we still tackled them and didn't allow them to gain a yard. That's the kind of intensity you have to keep up on every play. Let's go for that elbow. Get out of here! Seems to be the only injury taking place today. It's the same one that happened in the last game that took me out the game. Okay. <laughs> Mortal Kombat style. Except Mortal Kombat. It's probably ten times worse. Shout out to Mortal Kombat 10. All right, watch the guy, watch the guy. You know, I was gonna see if I could pick it off. I should've stuck to the receiver. What I definitely have to do here is prevent them from scoring. They're gonna attempt to run it. Oh, come on. Embarrassing us on YouTube. Oh, was a little distracted. Crap. At least I didn't get injured. And just like that, a 10 to 6 lead. I should have gone for the neck. Doesn't matter to me. Whatever gets him out of the game. Now, as I was saying in the previous game, I would love to see uh, another game like this for current gen consoles, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And PC as well. I don't know if you get a lot of football on PC. Something like this taken to the next level. Let's go, let's go. Mm, you little bitch. Don't get up. But it'll take years of development from a company that will have to be 
Very dedicated. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Fumble recovery. Let's go. And just like that, our team has turned things around. I'm going to try to keep the ball away from my guys as much as possible to avoid him getting injured. Woo-hoo! Just like that, baby! Oh! <laughs> I meant to do a taunt and he almost got tackled because of it. Now, in this situation, I'll definitely go for two make up for the failed attempt earlier and just like that we have scored the two-point conversion and taken a 14 to 10 lead the Milltown correctional facility has turned this around oh and we got a safety of our own what a quick turn of events and I'm still gonna keep the ball away from my player I guess that's smart football. Come on, break this tackle. Okay, broke the first tackle. And now let's see if I could pass the ball to my guys so that he got some kind of score. Oh, come on! You cheating bastard. All right, let's see what kind of plays we have here. All right, I'm going to try to get my guy the ball again. He deserves some action. Touchdown! Jones, a.k.a. Franchise. And now we currently have a 12-point lead. So why not go for two? Be up two scores. Come on. Perfect. And just like that, we are whooping their ass, baby. Now I'm very excited for Madden NFL 15. Shoulder again. <laughs> Sorry the same injuries boring you. But I'm just trying to get this guy out the game. Come on, give the ball to the running back. Oh, really? Is that the shoulder again? Uh-oh. Yeah, but with a German suplex this time. Mexico? <laughs> which one which one is named Mexico? The guy on my team or this team? All right, third and 27. Perfect. Now Madden NFL 15 doesn't appear to be making as many changes as one thinks. But I've always said that in order to show off their engine and their graphics, they should have some camera angles like backbreaker some up close camera angles and Madden has never really done that which means every year you're pretty much seeing the same angle so it doesn't matter if the graphics got better from that distance they pretty much look the same but this year they have multiple camera angles to switch from before the play and I'm sure they're utilizing the next gen power that much more. Oh, nice stiff arm, not even close. And I am gone. And I know I said I wouldn't give him the ball that much, but that time it paid off. Currently up 14 points. Let's make it 16 and force him to go for two twice. <laughs> that was a funny tackle. So that was saying this year with the multiple camera angles, that's one improvement. 
the lighting really is the big difference. Are you kidding me? Ah, you bitch! Wow, stamina is all the way down to 53. So the lighting really makes the graphics pop that much more from last year. Last year, the most interesting lighting was, I think it was the partly cloudy. It made for some nice shading, some nice um, reflections, but now it pretty much looks like whatever lighting you play in there is going to have that realistic type of look. Almost picked off. Had to make the quick move to switch to the nearest defender after breaking up the pass. And here we go. And he does not even get close. 33 seconds left in the second quarter, and it looks like we're going to put this one away. We are a bunch of kittens. Kittens in the background. That's because. My youngest cat gave birth to six little bastards. And I only call them bastards because their parents weren't married. And we're taking a huge, huge lead. Much more of an effective contest than the first attempt at the beginning of this video. So I was saying, on Madden NFL 15, the lighting will make the graphics look better. The camera angles will make them pop more. Oh! I'm sure the player lock camera angle will be difficult to play with at first, but I'll be more interested in getting used to it and getting good with it then I would be playing with the same old camera angle we've been playing with. I'm excited for the new pregame and halftime shows. If you've seen any footage of NBA Live 14's halftime shows, they really cover a lot of the action. So the highlights. Um, oh, come on. Pathetic. Pathetic. They cover all the action, they have stats, player of the half, who's been cold. I hope all those things are brought to um, Madden. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like skipping replays, doesn't like skipping halftime shows. I get real into it. So if I could get a real in-depth, excuse me, if I could get a real in-depth review of the first quarter first half with footage, stats, ETC, I'm going to be very excited. But I hope that also comes with a post-game show. But so far they've only mentioned pre-game and halftime. The presentation overall is supposed to be that much more in-depth. Oh, oh, now that's Mortal Kombat style. And it looks like they are on the verge of making a comeback. Come back. Sorry. I taught myself English. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Oh, got to the quarterback and now I'm going to pop him in his face. Yeah. Now, if they do make uh, another game like this, some company out there, ooh, don't usually get excited over virtual women, but that was pretty intense. Now, if they do make another game like this, great, then they should just go all out. Since they're not using the NFL license, why stop at blood and gore and breaking bones let's have some teams that let's have teams have specific 
advantages. Let's have some teams pull out Uzis and Mac 10s and guns. Let's have aliens. Let's have monsters. Let's have a story mode that combines all those things. And another touchdown for Jones. 45 yard gain to his total. And he is not injured yet, folks. Almost picked off. Doesn't matter right now. We're up by 14 points. So yeah, why not go all out? Add monsters, cowboys, have specific um, advantages to those teams, each team. I'm sure different people will have their own favorite team. Have specific clashes or um, game-changing moments for each team. Real interesting arenas like outer space. Let's go. Another fumble recovery for the defense, and we're gonna try to take this one all the way. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna score right away. I want to play defense. Oh, so much for my big mouth. Let's see what I break. Power bomb. Well, almost a power bomb. Come on, I want to crack some skulls. Yeah, you could actually do that in this game. Oh, what a hit. They had no chance against us. Not today, boys. And after this game is over, I could go on and play some Division II football. Almost got him. Five seconds left in the third quarter. I think we could dish out one more injury. But who's gonna be? What the heck just happened? <laughs> that was pretty confusing. Oh, <laughs> and I hit the other guy. Wow, that was a fun little turn of events. I can put the hurt on you all day, son. Fourth quarter here, two minutes left in this contest. Two minutes left in my prison career. Nice. Now, even though the gameplay, when you actually play and the controls are pretty arcadey in the way the players move, it actually works. It looks very entertaining. It's very responsive. What more can you ask for? Oh, wow. Finally unlocks the new taunt. Of course, I could look up all the taunts in the game, touchdown celebrations, and punch them in. But it's kind of fun when you get one out by accident. Uh, let's go. Touchdown. Well, two-point conversion, rather. One minute and 48 seconds left in the game. Oh, he was almost on his way to score. Come on, I want to wrap this one up and go home, baby. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let me talk about NFL 2K5 real fast. I was a huge 2K fan. I had a Dreamcast. And... The first 2K game I played on Dreamcast was actually 2K2. Before that, I was playing Madden NFL 2002 on the PlayStation 1, which I have videos of on my channel. Oh no, 
No. Ah! And before that, I was playing Madden 2000. And before that, I was playing Game Day 2001. So, when I finally... Woo! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> when I finally... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When I finally started playing um, NFL 2K2, I was just blown away. There was nothing like running the ball with a running back and stiff-arming somebody and breaking tackles and... The best um, defensive tackle in the game was the one where you clip them by the legs and they just flip and land almost on their head. Such memories. I wish I still had it today. I would probably play 2K2 right now if I had it. Just because of the uh, nostalgia. Now, flash forward 2K5. The last 2K game to come out. That year, like many people, I bought 2K... Oh, come on. Like many people, that year I bought 2K and Madden NFL 2005. And I played both of them for different reasons. Um, if I remember correctly, 2K came out first. Oh, damn. And... They each had... Their positives, they each had their negatives. The presentation on 2K was untouchable. The commentary, the halftime shows, untouchable. Now, what I liked about Madden was that things unfolded a little bit more realistic. Visually, while watching the play unfold in 2K, it looked like a football game, but when you played it, it didn't feel like what I thought a football game should feel like. You had to tap X to run faster. Then, all the animations and jukes and all that stuff were really contact based. So when you press the spin button, he does a little shake, and if he makes contact, He'll do a nice spin animation. Now, as I said, this will translate to the game looking beautiful and looking very smooth the way he's spinning all that. But it was very animation based and not so much real time and engine based. That being said, if you do a spin move in Madden NFL 2005, you had to actually try to lead them. Try to get one more playoff, but it doesn't matter. We won the game. So if you do a spin in Madden NFL 2005, you have to actually try to lead them toward the outside and time the spin correctly. And that will translate to a more um, fun experience, at least for me. But as I said, I was a fan of both games. I love the hit stick on Madden NFL 2005. Um, I like the graphics on Madden NFL 2005 more. I thought the players looked more intimidating. They popped more. And the point of this whole conversation is that I think even if there was a 2K football game today, I think it would look really smooth. But it still wouldn't be as responsive and you still wouldn't have as much direct control over the player as you do in Madden. A lot of people don't know about the modifier button in Madden because they don't play the modern Maddens anymore. But the most recent Madden had that this option that if you hold the L2, it modifies your jukes, spins, hurdles to react directly to the player that is in front of you. So he'll try to spin around the player. He'll try to jump over the player. And that button alone has made for some very exciting moments when I've played. I've tried to jump over Huddles, try to um, jump for the first down, and then the physics take over, and it just makes for a very exciting experience. And I don't think 2K would have been able to have things like that, even if they were out today, because they're very animation based, and everything would just be what would trigger the next animation, and 
so forth, as opposed to physics and engine. But you guys can share your opinions. I'm sure many people will disagree, and that's okay. And hopefully one day we'll be able to see because competition, of course, brings out the best product. Thanks for watching. Tune in for the start of the next season in Blitz the League 2. Peace. Oh yeah, my good behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for nothing. Son of a bitch. Hi. I heard you got out early. That's good news. Listen, you should know. It's going to take a while to rebuild relationships, both with sponsors and with me. But I'm willing to stick with it if you are. Hey, hey, look who's back. Sorry I couldn't pick you up personally from the slam, but I've been busy trying to line you up some new sponsors. You do know all the old sponsors bailed when you were convicted, right? Yeah, they did. But don't worry, because you work your magic on the field, I'll do mine off the field, and all will be forgiven.